Well, it's time for me, Pat McMahon, to introduce you to someone that perhaps you haven't met. And in this case, I know you haven't met Boyce Thompson. Does that sound vaguely familiar? Well, I'll tell you something. Lynn Namath knows about him because she just became the director of the Boyce Thompson Arboretum. So we're going to talk about Boyce Thompson, you're going to be introduced to. We will define what an arboretum is, and we'll say hi to Lynn, who just came from where? I came from Flagstaff. Well, it's good to have you with us in central Arizona, particularly Thank when you're you. talking about something that is as special in this part of the state as all of those other major sites are. Talk to us about the Boyce Thompson Arboretum and what it is. Well, Boyce Thompson Arboretum is a botanical garden. Uh, it has been uh, mostly focused in on trees and shrubs, desert trees and shrubs from around the world. And we have a lot of other plants as well. Um, we are Arizona's oldest and largest botanical garden, founded in 1924. There are people who have lived here for a long, long time who might not even be aware that there is that major attraction in the vicinity of Superior, Arizona. I know about it. Well, because I'm acquainted with Thompson's. Uh, my partner on television of the Wallace and Ladmo show, Wallace, was Bill Thompson, right. Boyce Thompson's great nephew. And uh, so Wild used to take Ladmo and me there all the time. But when we got there, it was really a terrific experience. Tell everybody why they ought to go. We have 343 acres of uh, beautiful, upland Arizona desert habitat and uh, with close to 25,000 plants wow. from around the world, uh, five miles of hiking trails, and we just opened the new Wallace Desert Garden, 5,000 plants transplanted from North Scottsdale. Now, this is, not, this is not in honor of Wallace of Wallace and Ladmo. No, I, it is not. But <laughs> this is this is H.B. Wallace. It would have been a nice idea, but you'd have to give away Ladmo bags. Listen, when it comes to uh, this particular remarkable area of our state, uh, I, it occurs to me that we're pretty proud in the Valley of the Sun of the Desert Botanical Gardens. And as big as that is, and as important as it is, the Boyce Thompson Arboretum dwarfs our place. Well, I um, yeah, I guess you could say that. Um, it 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 is it is larger. Although uh, Desert Botanical Garden does have uh, more plant specimens than we do uh, from around the world, but but we have this incredible landscape of the superior uh, of the Superstition Mountains, and uh, and also Picket Post Mountain. But why, and Creek. Lynn, why is it important, though, that we preserve these desert plants? It's not just a matter of uh, people strolling uh, through a, a lovely piece of Arizona scenery. Uh, you're also medically important. Yes, uh, plant, uh, many of our medicines throughout history have come from plants. And of course, we also eat a lot of plants. So a lot of the research that has been done over the years has been into plants for medicinal purposes and also for our own food purposes. Um, and there's another reason to preserve plants, and that is all the wildlife that's dependent upon them. So how do we get to the Boyce Thompson Arboretum? It's so easy. We are 50 minutes from the airport right down Route 60. And since the, the road was improved, it's a straight shot. It's only 30 minutes from Mesa. It's so easy to get here and you are going to, it's just so beautiful uh, and, and a great day trip from Phoenix. And we're getting to the point where a lovely stroll is even lovelier when it comes to the temperatures. Do we have to make arrangements in advance, by the way? No, you do not. No. Yeah, just... Reservations are only needed if you want a tour. 
Well, just all you have to do is tell the person at the front gate that you saw Lynn Namath here on this segment of the show called Let Me Introduce You To. Thank you.